Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So on today's show, I'll be presenting what I believe to be the best paint sealant and wax combo. So we all know that paint sealants are a synthetic form of paint protection and that carnauba waxes are an organic form of paint protection. If you can combine both, well, you're combining the best of both worlds, meaning that you're getting great longevity and an amazing gloss. So to find out what these two products are, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome back to all my regular viewers, and if you're new to my channel and you want to learn more about car detailing, so products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques, well you found the right channel, so take a second and click the subscribe button that's found under this video, and that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So today I talk about what I believe to be the best combo of a paint sealant and a wax, so before I reveal which two they are. Well, if you haven't seen it yet, make sure that you watch my video on how to apply a wax, either by hand or by a DA polisher. So I'll drop the link to that video in the description down below, but you can also click the card up here. And also to make it simple for you guys, like in all my videos, I included the links to all the products and the equipment talked about in this video. I dropped those links in the description down below for you guys to check them out. So before we get to the identity of the two products, well, we all know that there are essentially three forms of paint protection. So there are carnauba waxes, there are paint sealants, and ceramic coatings. So I personally love ceramic coatings and I've done many video tutorials and reviews on my channel, so make sure you check those out later. But for many people, there are some cons of using ceramic coatings. So one of the main ones is the difference in look. So some don't like the look that ceramic coatings give on a car. The other one is that they're a bit more difficult to apply and remove, so they require a bit more experience and technique. Some coatings can be very expensive, so the cost is another one of those cons. And finally, many ceramic coatings are prone to water spotting, so you have to use a silica-based spray sealant in order to alleviate that issue, so for some it might be cumbersome. So essentially, paint sealants and waxes are an easier form to apply and to remove. They still offer a great protection, so they're gonna protect against the elements, protect against the UV rays. They're gonna make water bead off and sheet off your paint extremely well, so washing your car afterwards is a lot easier. They'll leave a slick finish to the paint, and most importantly for all of us, they boost and enhance gloss. So why use a paint sealant and a wax? Well, number one, a carnauba wax typically lasts one to three months because it's a plant and organic based product, so longevity is not its stronghold, but gloss is, so carnauba waxes typically offer a warmer glow, so that's what enthusiasts want. And paint sealants give off a slightly colder glow, so a more synthetic feel. However, they have a wonderful feel to the touch, so they're very slick, and also their main uh, strong point is their longevity. So typically, paint sealants will last anywhere from five to six months. You can combine both the longevity of a paint sealant, so you apply that as your base layer on your paint, and you top it off with a thin coat of carnauba wax to get that boost and gloss and to have that warm glow that enthusiasts and car lovers love. All right, so now's the time to reveal what I believe to be the best paint sealant and wax combo, and so the paint sealant is the Jeskar Power Lock Plus. So this is a polymer-based paint sealant. And the wax goes to the Colonite 845 Insulator Wax. Now this is a Carnuba-based liquid wax. So I had a different combo that I was using before. So I was using the Jeskar Power Lock Plus as my go-to paint sealant, but I had another more expensive Carnuba wax. But thanks to Matt Mormon from Obsessed Garage. By the way, hi Matt, I hope you're doing well. Well, he introduced me to this uh, Colonite 845 insulator wax because of the uh, warm glow that it gives out and also the depth. So really, you're gonna see it uh, once you apply it yourself. It gives a lot of depth to the reflection in the paint. So this is the combo that Matt uses on his his vehicles when he's using a paint sealant and uh, liquid carnauba wax combination. Hey Pan, thanks for asking me to talk a little bit about uh, a couple of my favorite products on planet Earth. Uh, I'm running out of the office this morning, but any chance I get to come out in the garage and talk about something great, uh, I'm always down for that. Uh, the combination of uh, Power Lock Plus and Colonite 845, I discovered 
back when I was a forum junkie, I'm gonna say probably 2008, 2009. So I've, I've been using this for about 10 years now. Uh, and of course the combination is to do uh, Jeskar, uh, but Powerlock Plus uh, is, uh, is the polymer sealant. So of course we put that on first, uh, which I'm sure you've talked about uh, in your videos. And then secondly, we top with uh, Colonite 845, which is a uh, Carnuba based, uh, but with some polymer additives, uh, Carnuba wax. And for whatever reason, I don't know who was the first person uh, a couple decades ago to try uh, something like uh, like Menzerna Power Lock with Colonnade 845, but for, for whatever reason, the two polymers tend to bond really well and we get lots of, uh, lots of beading, lots of longevity. Uh, it becomes reasonably hydrophilic, you know, so water tends to slide off of the paint. You know, inexpensive. I mean, these two bottles will literally last you the rest of your life unless you had a collection of cars. If you have a couple of cars, maybe two, maybe three cars, uh, I think that a, a pint bottle of uh, Power Lock will again probably last you the rest of your life. Uh, same thing with Colonite. I think I've spilled more Colonite on the floor than I've actually used. So a combination, usually you're going to get you know, six, eight, nine months out of it depending on how you treat it. I top with Optimum Car Wax or Optimum Spray Wax. Uh, you could also use Meguiar's D156 Grio Spray Wax. I use that as my drying aid for this. Uh, Ammo Hydrate works well. Uh, so lots of, you know, any detail sprays, anything like that work really well with this stuff. But, um, you know, this combination is tried and true. We know it works. We know it works well. If you really enjoy waxing your car, uh, this gives us a little bit better uh, longevity than regular wax, but uh, just just tends to do tends, tends to do a great job. This is my, my favorite uh, combination of products. So anyway, thanks for asking me to talk about it. Uh, I'm sure you're going to give all the particulars of this stuff, but uh, or you've, I know you have in the past past, but uh, I'm a huge fan and a big advocate. They're also quite inexpensive for the level of performance you're getting out of them for their ease of application, so they're great value for money. Again, I'll drop the links to all the products in the description down below for you guys to check them out. So let's talk about each product individually. First of all, Jeskar Power Lock Plus. Now this is a polymer sealant, so this is made for longevity. Jeskar is essentially the US importer for Menzerna. So Menzerna also have their power lock paint sealant. So the great thing about this is that it'll give you protection ranging anywhere from five to six months. So you'll basically apply a thin layer of this all over your car and buff it off. And as per the instructions, you have to leave it cure on the paint for a minimum of three hours before applying your coat of wax. So it's gonna give you a very slick finish. You can use it on its own if you want to. Uh, it gives some great gloss, obviously, and the longevity is superb. Water beading and sheeting and all the great properties. And if you want that extra awesome finished look and detailed awesomeness, where well, you're gonna to top it off with the uh, Colonite 845 Insulator Wax. So Colonite is an American-based company. And basically what this insulator liquid wax does, well, number one, it's Carnuba based. So it has some natural uh, organic plant extracts from the plants in Brazil. It adds depth to the paint. So that's what we're looking for when we're using this as a top coat. And essentially because it's Carnuba based, well, it's gonna give you a natural look, a warm glow, and uh, also some awesome water beading. It also has some secret polymers that are added to this for longevity. Um, it's very, very good. You can use it for automotive, marine, RV, uh, aeronautical, and industrial use, as said on the bottle. Essentially, you're gonna apply a very, very thin layer, and that's the trick. Like any Carnuba wax, the thinnest possible layer, because if you're applying a thick coat, well, you're essentially, you're wasting product, and you're gonna make removal very difficult. So you apply a thin layer, you work around your vehicle, and then you buff off using a gentle microfiber towel, like this uh, microfiber towel from the Rag Company. This is their Eagle Edgeless. Edgeless because it has no edges, so no risk of scratching your paint. It's super thick, super plush. It's a 70-30 microfiber blend, so 70% polyester, 30% polyamide. It's a Korean-based microfiber, so ultra high-end. This is great for removing paint sealants and waxes. And you can apply both of this paint sealant and wax by hand. So if you wanna use a microfiber applicator or a foam applicator like this, 
and you can also apply them by machine. So I use my uh, trusty Rupez LHR15 Mark II DA polisher, but you can use any DA polisher you have at your house. Make sure you use the low speed settings. We're not doing any paint correction. So use speeds two or three, that's max. You don't need any power. Don't apply any pressure when you're using your DA polisher. Let the machine do the work for you. And make sure you're using a soft pad like this Lake Country CCS foam pad. This is a finishing pad, because again, we're not doing any paint correction. So you wanna use the uh, uh, nicest and plushest pad that you have. So again, finishing pad, if you wanna apply it by polisher. So this is it for my ultimate wax and paint sealant combo. If you wanna to continue to learn more about car detailing, so products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques, make sure you click the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. If you liked and enjoyed this video, show me your support by smashing the thumbs up button. And in the meantime, guys, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.